Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Taylor Returns, Plots to Split Thomas and Hope The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of September 25 teases that Judge Avon Scott will check in for a multi-episode bow, giving the suckers a regard of a surprise connection. We haven't seen the judge outside of the chambers yet. Supposedly, he has a backstory that ties him to one of the established characters on the show. Judge Scott will meet with this person and bandy a legal issue. It's likely tied to Sheila Carter. We'll have to keep watching the CBS Cleaner for further details. Taylor Hayes returns to advise John, Finn Finnegan about Steffi Forrester. The concerned mama wants to help Finn exclude Sheila so Steffi can eventually come home. Finn is willing to do nearly anything to get relief of Sheila. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that Taylor shocks Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester with her surprise homecoming. Taylor learns Thomas Forrester and Hope Logan are sleeping together. The news is jarring for the mama, who decides to put an end to it. Taylor absolutely doesn't want Thomas involved with Hope in any way. She thinks it puts him in a dangerous spot with Brooke. B and B spoilers say that RJ Forrester learns that Eric Forrester's hand temblers are further than arthritis. Donna Logan informs her horson that his granddad's hand temblers are more serious but asks him to keep quiet about it. After Eric loses his temper in front of Luna, RJ tells the new intern his forefather's secret. He doesn't want Luna to suppose inadequately of Eric, so he explains that he's suffering from a health disease. Luna encourages RJ to tell his pater, about the hand temblers. She thinks this is too important for RG to carry. RG isn't ready to betray Eric's trust just yet. RG knows if he doesn't tell Ridge soon, his father may no way forgive him for keeping the secret. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that someone spills Eric's secret soon. Maybe Luna tells the foresters so RG doesn't have to do it. Taylor returns with the M-A-D-E-S-T stories ever, past romance resurfaces, the bold and the beautiful suckers get ready for a roller coaster of feelings as the iconic character Taylor makes her triumphant return to Los Angeles. But this time, she's not just back for the drama, she's back with one of the maddest stories ever. As Taylor immerses herself in her work, old dears revitalize and a crooked plot emerges, evocative of the show's classic sicky stories. Let's see what Taylor has in store for her suckers. Taylor finds new love after spending some time down, Taylor will make a comeback in Los Angeles, and it seems like she's ready for a fresh launch. But why did the show shoot her quilting with Steffi? Well, it might just be a smart move because Taylor's return is going to be nothing short of spectacular. Little does she know that a plot is unfolding that harks back to the fabulous Liar Off co-creator William G. Bell. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that back in L.A., Taylor will find herself completely devoted to her work as a famed psychiatrist. Still, a man will bear a striking resemblance to her unpredictable partner, Blake Hayes, Maximilian Shepard, will snappily capture her attention. Max isn't your average Joe, he's handsome and fascinating, but there's an out, putting in scary side to him. He'll be filled with rage over his separation from his woman, Gail. And guess what? He won't feel to be suitable to let go. As Taylor works her magic, she'll start to break through Max's emotional walls. She'll help him realize that being with someone who doesn't love him isn't love at all. Does any earn further than that? And what about Gail? Could she find happiness away? Taylor might indeed claw into the root of Max's abandonment issues. Spoilers tease that Max's mama left him with his violent alcoholic pater when he was a sprat. This experience deeply affected Max and changed him like a distorted reflection in a funhouse glass without him indeed realizing. But when Steffi catches a regard of Max, she can't help but wonder if her mama has noticed how seductive he is. Taylor will snappily brush off the idea of a romantic connection, citing professionalism. She'll believe that Max isn't ready for a relationship, especially with his complicated history with high-sex wives. Still, the bold and the beautiful spoilers allude that effects will soon take an unanticipated turn. As Max's remedy continues, Gil surprise Taylor by saying he's over Gail and may be falling for someone new. Taylor will be agitated but also Max will shock her by confessing that he's falling for her. 
Still, Taylor will remind him that it's not ethical for a psychiatrist to date a case, but Max won't let it go and will playfully tease his Taylor about her studies on dating a case. Taylor will find herself in a tricky spot, torn between her professional ethics and the surprising turn in her love life. Will Taylor break the rules and take a chance on love with Max? RJ is concerned, will he betray Eric? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Donna Logan will entrust in RJ Forrester that Eric Forrester could be suffering from further than arthritis. Latterly on, Eric loses his temper in front of Luna. The new intern will advise RJ to tell Ridge Forrester the verity. Will RJ betray Eric's trust? RJ Forrester agreed to keep Eric Forrester's secret. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that when RJ agrees to help Eric, he agrees to keep Eric's secret about his hands. Eric told RG that he'd arthritis and he couldn't use his hands to sketch. After seeing the temblers in Eric's hands, suckers have wondered if there was further to it than arthritis. Donna revealed there could be further to the story. RG sees how frustrated his forefather gets when he cannot sketch the designs he wants. Occasionally, RG doesn't get it just right moreover, and Eric wants to educate him. Still, Eric simply cannot make his hands work in the way he used to. Eric may indeed yell at RJ for not doing commodity right. Still, RJ doesn't want Luna to get the wrong print. RJ Forrester doesn't want to betray anyone. RJ doesn't want to betray his forefather, but he also doesn't want commodity to be to his forefather and have Ridge be in the dark about his condition. Eric has been acting enough erratic recently and Ridge doesn't know why. Still, Eric and Ridge have decided to fight this fashion battle out on the runway. However, Ridge isn't likely to stay quiet if RG says commodity. RG is concerned. Will he betray Eric in Eric's current state? He may not forgive RG for saying commodity to Luna. Eric is certain to be furious if Ridge finds out anything. Eric would clearly see it as a treason if RG addresses. Eric may also see Ridge's response as pity, and that clearly won't work for him. Will RG end up betraying Eric anyway because he's hysterical for his forefather? Could Luna say commodity rather? Luna is easily up to commodity, or she wouldn't be around the foresters after being told to stay down from them. RG is passing in this girl who he doesn't indeed know. Just imagine when this fashion show goes down and someone mentions Eric's hands or that he could have some type of illness. How would that affect the runway performance? Does Eric have commodity differently wrong with him besides arthritis? Will Eric's secret be revealed before he's ready to bandy what's going on with his health? Will Eric forgive RJ if this information gets out? Sheila's judge has a secret history. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Monday, September 25, 2023, reveal just how Sheila got a progeny estuol off jail-free card. What is the judge hiding? Cleaner warhorse Michael Corbett is back as Judge Avon Scott, the judge who let Shayla Carter off on a ramification before this summer. It sounded odd that this judge would do such a thing, but there might be a better reason for it than Ridge Forrester, Dollar Bill Spencer, and the FBI meddled up. On Monday, we learn that the judge has a secret history and a romantic trap that could have led to his decision. Is he another man that Sheila managed to entoil in her web times ago? Did she ever make contact with him and arrange for him to be her judge? Did she know just what was going to be during her day in court? This could surely give Deacon Sharp food for study and lead him to make his own romantic decision that will change everything. He wants his relationship with his son, but he also wants Sheila. Hope Logan's passions start to change Douglas Forrester's stint playing matchmaker may actually help move effects along for his parents. He has no idea they're further than just musketeers now and at his age, he shouldn't know. Of course, Thomas Forrester wants to be further than just musketeers with benefits and tells Hope just how important he loves her and has always loved her. For Hope, it feels great to have someone who only wants her. She's moved by his devotion and unwavering passions for her and wonders if she can really be happy with him for the long term. She's still hurt after her marriage to Lamb Spencer ended, but it was Hope who truly ended it when she kissed Thomas in Rome. She did what she wanted to do and not what she was anticipated Toto. However, she'd also be doing commodity she isn't anticipated to do if she gives in to her true passions for Thomas now.